Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I gotta say, I'm glad that I haven't done my Chicago White Sox versus the Blue Jays or the Houston Astros comparison videos yet. <laughs> So yeah, big news. The uh, Toronto Blue Jays are not playing around. I mean, they're here. They're here and they're knocking at the door and they're ready to knock it in. They signed George Springer to a six year, $150 million contract. And they've also signed Michael Brantley to a three year contract. So they're like saying, hey, we want to be the Houston Astros. So, and, uh, you know, this leaves some question open as to what are they going to do with all of those outfielders? Because now they've got Grichik and they've got Teoscar Hernandez and they've got some other guys. Are they going to trade those guys now that they've got Springer and um, Springer and Brantley? I mean, that's big stuff. I mean, the, the Blue Jays are not playing around. They probably need another starting pitcher to like really solidify their um, chance of maybe winning the World Series or getting to the World Series. But I think right now, I mean, they're in the discussion to win the East. I mean, they gotta be, because the Yankees, you know, last year the Yankees didn't look that great in the 60 games that they had, and they didn't really do that much to improve from last year. And, um, you know, the Orioles aren't ready. Boston's not even close to ready. You know, so I don't know. We're going to have to see. And Tampa Bay, you know, they lost uh, they lost Nate Snell. And they're trying to play that off like that's a good thing. Like, they, you know, what they got is it's going to help. No. So, yeah, I mean, the Blue Jays, are that, they kind of stepped to the head of the class on this one, I think. So we'll have to see. Um but, uh, you know, they look like they're going to be a serious contender for, you know, like the American League pennant. And the White Sox are going to have to worry about that. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that uh, White Sox versus the Blue Jays video and that White Sox versus the Houston Astros video. Um, also, uh, in the, in the uh, baseball world, um, on a kind of a, a bad note, the... New York Mets have fired their general manager, Jared Porter, for um, having harassed a female reporter in 2016. By harassed, I mean going after her as, like, trying to date her, trying to get a date with her, and, like, really going overboard on it. And that all culminated with him... I'll say, this is a family-friendly program, so I'll say he sent her a lewd picture, um, texted her a lewd picture. So the Mets have let him go. And, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you could, there's two schools of thought on this. The first one is it happened five or six years ago. So he's being fired for something he did five or six years ago. You don't know if he's past that stage of his life. But five or six years ago, he had to know that that was wrong. And, uh, you know, and apparently he sent like 60 texts to her asking to go out with her, asking her if she had a boyfriend, you know, complimenting her on her looks. Dude, 60? No. No. After like three or four times, you get rejected three or four times. No, you give it up. She's not interested. So he's out of a job now. And, uh, and then the only other thing I wanted to mention on my news of the day now, and this is some other sad news. This is just sad news. Is that Don Sutton has died. So... Uh, Don Sutton, he's the second very famous Dodger to pass away. 
in the uh, last, I don't know, couple weeks. I don't remember exactly when it was that Lasorda passed away, but um, Hall of Famer Don Sutton has passed away. The baseball world is losing legends left and right, it seems. So, um, you know, fair winds and following seas to... Uh, to Don Sutton. Oh, um, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.